When we received the challenge as to how we could take Carlin's 100% British barley message out to the consumer via the customer, we had an opportunity to do things differently. As a business, we want to amaze our customers with how we listen, collaborate and deliver our plans. And we had heard that a great piece of activity delivers against three distinct sets of needs, those of the consumer, those of the customer and those of our own business. We call activity that delivers against all three sweet spot activity. At the time, the credit crunch was hitting local pubs and clubs very hard. Across the piece, a local was closing every day. If you then consider that only one in five people had ever visited their local pub, and as a result were more likely to be able to tell you the name of a pub on a TV soap opera than they were of the one down the road, then we thought, what can we do to help to get more people back down the pub? What follows is a story of how we tried to amaze our customers and what we learn in the process. The future health and success of the Entrade is critical for our business. And if there was ever a brand that can make a significant difference to the trade, it's Carling. Which is why we laid down the challenge to get a million more people back down the local pub and club. To be honest, at the start, it was more of a big, hairy, audacious goal, a way of communicating our intent, but the project team just seized the challenge. And before I knew it, they were coming back with a plan to actually direct mail one third of the UK's households, inviting eight million people for a free pint of carling. They'd signed up over 2,000 customers for the activity who, in May alone, reported more than 125,000 new visitors. So not only was this activity of real benefit to the customer, but there were huge advantages for the brand as well. We were able to reinforce our British sociability positioning. We were able to get more people sampling the great taste of Carling. And we grew awareness of the 100% British barley message. So we had the big idea. It was now about executional brilliance. We worked closely with sales, engaged our internal stakeholders and pulled together a wide cross-functional project team. And this is when the really hard work began. We got nominations from our multiple on-trade, leased and tenanted, independent on-trade and regional brewers. We then mapped these nominations really closely with consumer databases. It was very important that the consumers were close to the outlets as we wanted them to re-evaluate their local and be rewarded with a free pint of carling. The independent on-trade members this was a new challenge as lists were actually in paper format and it took 15 agency staff over three weeks to put these into a format that we could then send the vouchers out to the members, again rewarding them with a free pint of carling. In Scotland, with new legislation, we had to do this very differently. We created the Great Carling Giveaway. We used the same framework, sending out 305,000 vouchers to Scottish consumers. We included 228 pubs nominated by the Scotland team. A team of 12 BDEs then visited each outlet, merchandising and briefing staff. Consumers were then able to go into outlet, redeem their voucher and receive a great Carling prize, which consisted of either a keyring, rucksack or a t-shirt. To top this, we were then nominated in the Dram Magazine's New Year's Honours list for Campaign of the Year. 2,000 point of sale kits were produced and distributed. Sales and finance colleagues merchandised these in outlets to really create the maximum impact. Over 8 million consumer leaflets were delivered and one week into the activity, the Tele Business Unit called many of the outlets to gain the initial evaluation feedback. This was really key as we were starting the planning for British Barley 3. It's really got people talking. Well, the Carling Free Point promotion was without doubt the best promotion that we've ever had here in the Fight Leaf Tower. Two thousand invites were sent out by Carling, and thankfully, over ten percent of the invites were taken up by the local community. And the nice part about that is, those people are still coming in and using our pub. And we say thank you to Carling for that promotion. Free pint promotion was great for us. We'd recently refurbished the pub 
but the locals hadn't really got a chance to see the pub the way we'd done it up. And because of the promotion, they came in to collect their free pint, and it's actually generated repeat business for us. Um, it's, it's been a real bonus to us by just having people come in to collect their pint, and they're coming back now. So it's, uh, it's proved to be a success for us and for Carling. The British Barley Campaign was a unique promotion developed by Molson Coors. They listened to their customers and developed a promotion that was both good at design, concept, implementation and most importantly drove additional footfall into the pubs. Here's up to Molson Coors. of our customers would run the activity again and Molson Coors employees have spent over 30,000 hours and £2 million developing and delivering the activity. 46% of our customers have said that together we drove top line outlet sales. Our challenge now is to listen and collaborate and turn that 46% into 60%, 70%, 80%. Now that would be amazing.